What's going on guys? So you're probably watching this video because you want to up your headshot game from here, say, bringing it up a little. And last year I shot over 260 sessions, actually 267 to be precise, just in 2016. And today we have the awesome and gorgeous Chelsea Wildy with us and we are going to show you how to up your headshot game. So you ready? Oh yeah, always exciting day shooting with Jason. So let's get started in this session here. And um, we have this light coming through this trees right now. And um, you can bounce light usually if you have a bounce or anything like that, but I'm gonna use it um, on our model, or Chelsea for today. Um, so I'm gonna have you step right through here. And something that you can add is shooting through things like trees, um, getting that right on the edge and playing with your frame a little bit. You don't want something kind of boring that's just still, and I'll show you, pretty much just right there for me. Perfect. All right, let's take a look here. Pretty much, center frame, yeah, I, I would put that maybe at like a four, but if I take this, okay, and I move it over a little bit and I give a little bit more play of something in the background, it's gonna add a little bit more to it. I'm pretty much in the same position here. Can you turn your shoulder just a little bit that way? Perfect. And here, see, I have a little bit more room of play on the right side, or on the left side. Chelsea's right, I'm so used to saying it backwards. Uh, I'm cutting it off here compared to the previous frame, having it squared and having less on one and a little more on the other. Kind of like the rule of thirds, but not like the rule of thirds because we're not shooting landscapes, we're shooting headshots. Um, can you come a little forward onto this tree for me and just maybe like some hands on it here, like leaning up against it, kind of like frontal though, like this way. Perfect. Here's another fun one, shooting through, some, through something, but when you're using something like the 70 to 200 28 and you're creating all that bokeh and you're creating that super shallow depth of field, shooting through things, so like in this frame, I'm gonna use the edge of this tree, I'm gonna go in to the edge of that tree, but I'm shooting past it into the abyss back there, the green, the little tree, all that stuff, but that's all gonna be blurred out. That's all gonna be super bokeh. Um, so let's shoot that and I will show you exactly what that looks like. So there we go. Again, I'm cutting off one side of the frame. I'm keeping the hair, keeping it nice and thin, giving more room to play in here. It's always nice to shoot through things. Let's even go back to like 70. And um, I'll do a uh, cinematic here compared to a vertical. Obviously vertical, cinematic. So. Here we go. We'll bring that up on the screen as well, even though I'll cut that audio out. That's awesome. I like that. That's awesome. Um, can we have you lay back kind of on that one? So here, again, play with the frame a little bit. You don't want to square it up, as you can see. From that one, you don't want to square it up. I never square up my frame. I never square up my frame. I, unless it's something that is 
meaning it has a meaning of power like for instance straight shoulder right now just like perfect just like that and we'll take this frame we'll show a sense of power um, and this is when you square up the frame that would be more of a sense of power even though that was a great great headshot wow this is like probably my best session this year uh, so let's uh, let's move down to these rocks for me just a little yeah he just walks off into stuff it's only my camera right I like the shadows better man even though it, it looks great it looks awesome um, definitely workable in post always want to play with the frame best way to put it I say don't be boring make it different change it up Talk to the camera too. that one was perfect see even with the frame now um, I'm using the edge we, we've cut it off just a little bit but there's room to play on one side you don't want things squared up I don't square things up maybe some people do but it's a sense of power it's a sense of something I don't do apparently people love my work so anyways <laughs> this is a five and one okay pop that bad boy open but it's a five and one the reason it's five and one is you have black you have silver you have gold you have white and then you have a diffuser and you just unzip it for the diffuser but I'm going to hang that over um, Chelsea just to diffuse the light and it's gonna look a lot better So that is it, we are done. That is a way to step up your headshot game. A um, Couple tips when you're out here shooting headshots with the awesome Chelsea Wildy. Um, first off, know your environment, know where the sun is, things like that, easy enough to know that. But also having the proper gear, proper things to carry along with you. If you don't have a speed light, pick up a bounce on Amazon for 25 bucks. I'll leave that link in the description below. And as always, you can go up here and click subscribe. If you like the video, go down and smash that like button if you so choose so. And follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash film 101 WHF. And follow us on Instagram at film 101 underscore official. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time.